Hi guys, in this video we'll talk about actuaries and social inclusion. First of all, let's start with a difficult question. Who is an actuary? An actuary is a professional who has knowledge about several areas and uses this knowledge to measure and manage risks in order to provide social protection. So, let's talk more about social protection. Specifically, some comments involving health risk groups. Do you know that according to the World Cancer Research, 18 million cases of cancer were diagnosed in 2020 globally? And according to the World Health Organization, almost 40 million people were living with HIV at the end of 2021? Moreover, about 422 million people have diabetes and an estimated of 1.28 billion adults have hypertension worldwide. Most of them live in low- and middle-income countries. These risk groups represent a large portion of the population that really needs a life insurance to provide financial protection for the families, their families in the worst case scenarios. But most of these people cannot buy life insurance because insurance companies tend to deny these kinds of risks. The great number of these denials happening in the early stages of the underwriting process. But we actuaries can change it. We can build a bridge to link these risk groups to the insurance market. How? We can create an ultimate life insurance. I'll call it POP, a product from another planet. And I think it will be really popular in the future. POP is structured on three bases. The first base is built on the underwriting process. We can use artificial intelligence to create a sophisticated underwriting guideline, which can accept people from risk groups, of course, to a certain extent. But artificial intelligence has limits. It can fail, for instance, when there is a very sophisticated fraud or when there is a rare and special case. But no problem, we have a skill that no other professionals have. We have our actuarial feeling. The second base is built on IoT. In this product, POP, we want people who have or want to have good health habits. That's why we use wearables, in order to monitor those good habits together with the customer's health. With all this available data from wearables, we can promote data analysis. And if the customer is doing well, he or she can choose either to reduce the premium or to donate the reduced value to a charity that is linked to those risk groups. The third base is built on the synergy. Getting focused only on numbers is not an option correctly. The new actuary needs to work together with different departments. We can work together with IT to implement the systems faster. We can work together with the marketing department to create a good advertisement. Then the product will have more reach and thus will help more people. We can create how we can advise how the product should be displayed to the commercial department. Therefore, the brokers can sell the product understanding the real need from customers. That's how we can add value to the companies, their services and products, and in so doing, contributing to a better society. But insurance companies need protection, capability, and expertise. That's why we need support from the reinsurers. Putting everything together, we can create POP. Or better, POP, the real universal life, because it's really inclusive, it's really universal. But we actuaries can do more about social inclusion. We can create customized products for seniors and LGBT movements or inclusive insurance in non-life products. And what about social inclusion for the new generations? 
I mean, how to make them buy insurance. We actuaries can use our skills and abilities to create new solutions or to add value to the pre-existing products and services so that we can provide protection and social inclusion and therefore building a better society. That's why we actuaries are the bridge to tomorrow. <laughs>